Creating text overlays is very similar to creating the titles and credits for your movie. The only difference is that what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding text on top of these images that are going to be shown in your movie. To do that, you need to tell Windows Movie Maker which clip or photo you want to add the text onto, and then you go to Make Titles or Credits. Once there, click on Add Title onto this selected clip, and then you need to um, give a tell Windows Movie Maker what text you'd like to use. Now that uh, map there shows world hunger across the globe. So I, that's what I'm going to write there, world hunger across the globe, to make sure that the user knows exactly what that um, static image is about. I'm going to go down to change the title animation. I'm going to have it zoom out. So it's going to appear like that, or I could have it zoom in. You can play around with these different settings here. There's many different things uh, you can do to change the way it's uh, interactive there. And as well, you can also, just like the text with the, uh, the titles and the credits, you can change the font color. You can change the, uh, the font size. I might make, make mine a bit smaller. I'm going to change the text back to black. Just to make sure that the user can really see it well. And I'm going to add it into my movie by adding done. Sorry, by hitting done, add title to movie. Once done, you can see the text overlay appears down here. And down here, uh, on the this is the timeline. It's going to show exactly when this title starts appearing in the movie. Right now, it's very close to when the actual slide is shown. Okay, hit play. World hunger across the globe. And then it disappears, allowing the viewer to see the map. However, I could change that to allow the viewer to see the map without the text there for a while first, just by dragging this over this way a little bit. And that will give about, it uh, looks like about a second before World Hunger appears. Let's see how that looks. World Hunger across the globe. And out. Very good. Now if I want to uh, make this longer, here you can see it shows the duration of four seconds. This is how long the text is going to remain on the on the screen. And I can actually drag that longer this way. And as I do, the duration changes to re reflect how long it's going to be on screen. So now, oops, it's going to be on for about six seconds. Here, and then I can also move it over this way a little bit. Let's see how it looks now. Let's see. World hunger across the globe. Gives them time to read it. Timing is very important. And there you go. And it, you can hear that it actually went on to the baby crying here. Let's move that over a little bit, actually. Because we don't want the baby crying when it's talking with the text. And that's how you change uh, your text overlays. Mm -hmm.